Hello friends, this video on anatomy of flowering plants part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about the third uh, part of the epidermal tissue system. So till now we have covered two, epidermis is done and stomata is done. Now the third and the last one that is epidermal appendages. What is the meaning of appendages? The term appendages, it means outgrowth. So something which grows from the surface of anything, that is generally termed as appendages. So let us see what are epidermal appendages. So these are outgrowth from epidermal cells. Now epidermal cells are anyways the cells on the skin of the plant body or the outermost layer of uh, cell. So these are also known as epidermal hairs. Epidermal hairs are small hair like structures coming out from the epidermal cells. Now what are the epidermal hairs? Where all do we see? They are seen in different parts of the plant. For example in roots they are called root hairs. So root hairs are nothing but when you actually closely observe these root structures you see small thin hair like structures. They are also termed as trichomes, which is generally seen in stems. So basically when we talk about epidermal appendages, we will talk about these two uh, things. One is root hairs and one is trichomes. So let us talk about root hairs. These are unicellular elongations of the epidermal cells in roots. So two important points to be noted here since they are root hairs obviously they are in roots and these are unicellular made up of single cell. So somewhat like this. So here you can see for a big tree they will be somewhere like this and for these kind of roots you see small hair like structures. So these are nothing but root hairs. Now what is the purpose of root hairs? They help in water and mineral absorption from the soil. So through this thin tiny structures, you actually tend to absorb a lot of water and minerals. Next one is trichomes. Trichomes are multicellular elongations of epidermal cells in the shoot system. So they are multicellular and they are part of the shoot system. When we say shoot system, it includes stem, branches, leaves, flowers, everything. Now these trichomes can be branched or unbranched. Sometimes the trichomes are even secretory, that is they secrete some uh, sticky substances. They can be soft, they can be, stick, uh, they can be stiff as well. So it is not always necessary that since they are hair like structure, they have to be very soft every time. They can be stiff as well. They form round containers which hold water. So that is how they help in preventing water loss. So here you can see the trichomes, how they look like. You see some straight structures with a bob like head. So these are nothing but trichomes. So they help to prevent water loss. So they, they look like dense woolly mats. So if you see, at, see it from a far off distance, you will feel as if it is a woolly mat spread over the stem. Right? So if you compare root hairs and trichomes, there are quite a few differences between the two. Root hairs seen in roots, of course, trichomes seen in the shoot system. Root hairs are unicellular, trichomes are multicellular. Root hairs are very rarely branched, whereas trichomes can be branched or unbranched. Now, when I talk about root hairs, again, one important point to be noted is that whenever we uproot a plant, we need to take care that all the root hairs are there intact because they help in getting the minerals from the soil. So if you, if you are not able to take all the root hairs, then your plant on the other part might not survive. Now, if you talk about the lifespan of root hairs, they survive for around two to three weeks and then they die off. So eventually new root hairs are formed. So this is a repetitive process. So they do not last for a very long time, but then they keep on getting replaced by new root hairs. So with this, I think we have reached towards the end of epidermal tissue system. So now we will talk about the next tissue system that is ground tissue system. As I said, all the tissues except the epidermal tissues and the vascular tissues fall under this category. So what all tissues are left over? 
So all tissues that are neither dermal nor vascular. So what is left over? Nothing but the simple permanent tissues that is parenchyma, cholenchyma, sclerenchyma. So all these tissues are they are a part of ground tissue system. Now these ground tissues are present almost everywhere in the plant in roots, stems and leaves. Now when we study the anatomy of root, stem and leaves we will actually see uh, where such cells are present. For example when we talk about roots Parenchyma cells are present in the cortex of the root, in the pith of the root. Again, when we talk about leaves, the middle layer is made up of the middle layer inside the leaf is made up of ground tissue. So in, in that sense, they are present in many different parts of the plant. Now, I'll not discuss about each of them again in detail because we have already discussed about them. So we will have a quick recap or a quick comparison between the three. So when we talk about parenchyma, they are all living cells. Cholenchyma also living and sclerenchyma are the cells which become dead on maturity. In parenchyma, the intercellular spaces are less. Cholenchyma, it is even lesser. And in sclerenchyma, there is no intercellular space. Therefore, sclerenchyma is the one which is responsible for the stiffness. Cholenchyma provides flexibility and parenchyma does a variety of function like storage of food, photosynthesis. They also helps the aquatic plants to float. Talking about the cell walls, parenchyma have thin cell walls. Cholenchyma have thick cell walls which are irregularly thickened at corners. Sclerenchyma have got very very thick cell walls thickened with lignin which makes it very rough and stiff. Okay. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.